My name's Colin Moriarty. I'm here with Dan Stapleton. Hello. Uh, Damon Hatfield's using his stealth camo right now, but he'll be back <laughs> very soon. Dan, thank you for joining me uh, and us when Damon gets back, because we're going to take a look at uh, a really cool indie game, a really special indie game I think people are really going to enjoy called Contrast. Yeah, it's, it's a very pretty game. Um, that, and that's, that's the, you know, the first thing that's very noticeable about it when you, when you start playing. It's like, this is a very stylish game. I, I like to kind of call it... Uh, like 1920s Paris, as envisioned by uh, Tim Burton. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. And it's it's uh, it's this, this interesting story about uh, this this little girl who you're about to see. There she is, Dee Dee, uh, and she uh, has an imaginary friend who is you, uh, and you can uh, you can you don't see or sorry, real people don't see you. You don't see them. You just see their shadows, um, and you can kind of interact with their shadows. Um, so her mom's about to come in here, and you'll see like that. That's the only way you see her mom. Um, interesting. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a very interesting story. So uh, it, it kind of creates some, some really clever platforming mechanics um, of interacting with light and shadow. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Okay. So this is, this is the opening part of the game, and it, which is a, a pretty good place to show off like, how this stuff works. And actually, th this is also another, another little area where, where it disappointed me a little bit. Okay. Um, because it has all this, this very clever stuff. This, this actually shows it kind of in a nutshell. It has this very clever stuff where we're about to interact with shadows. Um, and there we go. All right. ah. Oh, you inverted the controls on me. Oh. I didn't invert. I, the right. last part, I didn't play this game, so you can't blame that on me. All right. So, so see, I, I have kind of flipped into the, into the wall here and become a shadow. And you do that with R2. Okay. So. Yeah. So you're bouncing. You can bounce around. You can you can do this at will, um, and you know th this is a, a solid wall when I'm in the shadow. But when I bump, bump out, I can pass through it. Very so, cool. So you come down here, and so that that kind of puzzle stuff is really cool. But then they have you do just the very simple. Uh, well, you know, it eventually becomes box moving, right. um, which bec which is like you had such a great idea there. Yeah. Why do why do you rely so much on this? And to be fair, like the first half of it. Uh, has very little of that. Most of, most of the first half is is really good stuff about about the uh, shadow play, as I call it. Um, and it's, that's interesting with with that though. Like that that is like just a few feet off the ground, but it helped her survive that fall. That would yeah, and that's kind of a gamey thing. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's that's like the same kind of stuff as like uh, you know you're playing Crisis and you you got that powerful nano suit and oh no a chain link fence I can't get through that. Right. So you know it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. kind of a game. Yeah, you got to forgive some things. Right. Um, but uh, I really like Dee Dee's character. She's she's a very a very fun little character. Uh, you know, a wonder wondrous childlike perspective on things, uh, and the way she interacts with you. Her parents are um, you know kind kind of uh, kind of cliche, but also you know, not not badly done. Right. Um, yeah, and I love the aesthetic. Like I, lo I love just the, the setting. And I've seen some more parts of the game that are just really impressive looking. But I, this mechanic is just yeah. so cool. So this kind of thing is is one of my favorite little little. Bits where you where you're jumping in and out of shadow, in midair, and that that to me is is something that they they kind of toy with, but never fully like there's no, there's no challenge mode, right? Uh, which which is kind of disappointing. Like I wish they I wish like like in Portal they would have some some like post game stuff where uh, there's like some really hardcore stuff where you you can uh, really flex the muscles that you that you've built learning this learning these mechanics. Um, so right now we're gonna go and see. Uh, Dee Dee's mom, who is like a burlesque dancer. Okay. And I like I want to point out that the streets here, the streets are beautiful. Yeah, they like, are. That that is a really cool effect. Uh, that you you know that that's that's like the next gen aspect of this game. You can also play it on on PC, and it has that that kind of same look to it. Uh, it also has there is also a 360 version. Uh, there is no uh, and there will be a PS3 version as well. There is no Xbox One version planned, and I don't believe there's a Vita version planned. But um, but, is, this yeah. game, is this game? All, this game is already available on PC, though, right? Is, is, that, is that the case, uh, or will it be available at I the same time? Same time. Okay. And it, you've played both versions, I assume. Yeah. So, is there something that would recommend the PS4 version over the PC version? Or is it really just what you kind of want to play it's, it on? It's very comparable. I think the the only reason I would suggest going with the PC version is if you have a nice PC, you can crank it up without any any performance problems. There are some performance problems on PS4. Interesting. Okay. Which um, is interesting because this game doesn't seem like it would really push this, the, the unit that hard. Right, I mean, it's it's got to be an optimization thing, and that, that's something that you're just going to have to expect to see um, on on early games, uh, especially third-party games where they don't have as as close access to you know the the hardware engineers who can solve the problems for them. Right. Um, like, you know, this is an indie game. It's it's very it's understandable, but unfortunate. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have to turn on these lights. This, this is another another kind of neat little mechanic that that they use, you know, somewhat. But it would have been great to see them do a little bit more of, um, where you you get to adjust light sources, cast shadows, and and use those shadows to platform. So yeah, it's really neat. I love this. I love this. The idea of this. It's yeah, really it's cool. it's really cool. And and like the the idea of uh, bouncing around on like actual living people and platforming on them as they as they are like you know this this, this one is going to be a a you know performance here but um, but being able to bounce around on people like Dee Dee's parents having a fight like platforming across that yeah. is is kind of ingeniously you know moving in a way that most platformers just don't even try to yeah, yeah um, that's not in the uh, the equation for most of these kinds right. of things let's see I believe I go over here yeah so like like you, they've got a bunch of these kind of cycling animations um, that you can use to, ah, oh, yeah, there's, it's a little bit glitchy there sometimes. But cycling animations you can use to get up onto things and come over here and turn on this last light. And then we, we get you know, kind of a little treat here, which is a, an actual performance, um, which we, we won't watch all of, but um, this is, you know, Dee's mother doing, doing her, her routine. Uh, there. Oh dear. Yes, scandalous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, Damon showed up at the right Damon time. Came, <laughs> Damon came out of his stealth camo. Okay. <laughs> and uh, this, this is a, a very nitpicky little detail, but but check out the size of her hands. Okay, yeah, she's got big hands. Like everybody in this, all the shadows have huge hands. It's kind of distracting. And yes, and I, I'm not, I'm not. That's not a euphemism. Um, but the, like, yeah, she's all. Yeah, she's are. kind of. Yeah, that's that's weird. That's <laughs> weird. Now I can't unsee it. She's a monster. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, the, her oh, hands. Boy. Her hands are not the only thing that is misproportioned. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's 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 kind of a kind of a funny uh, little stylist. I don't know if it's a stylistic thing or yeah, not. Yeah, I wonder if they did that to make it clear that it's not like like the, to make the hand more noticeable in the shadow, yeah. so it doesn't look hard to remember. And the hands, like, huge. Yeah, the hands aren't. Aren't like supremely detailed or really, you know, intricately detailed. Um, so I don't know if it's that. Uh, that's bizarre. Now yeah. I cannot see. It. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, I've ruined content. No, it's okay. But uh, yeah, so we get this this uh, this routine. I'll let you let you find it for yourself. Okay. But um, uh, and you know, the, the story is is largely about. Oh, here, okay. Here here that we're gonna get kind of a, a little rundown on it here. The conflict between Dee Dee's parents. Um, and you know she wants them to get back together, obviously, um, and how how you can kind of help that. Uh, the idea is like her her dad is perpetually screwing up and getting himself into trouble with like the mob, and you have to keep him from getting himself killed, basically, um, and and win back her, her mom. Um, it's, no, let's, let's just watch. Till it blows up like last time and the time before that. Not this time, babe. I'm gonna make it all up to you. That's a little weird in the back too. I don't know they meet me after. I'm staying at the Excelsior. But you think you're just gonna jitterbug your way back into our lives with a lot of sweet talk? It's gonna be better this time, babe. You're gonna see how much better it can be. Room 529, kiddo. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting backdrop for a platformer. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah, the theme is really cool. Where is he going? I need to talk to him. This is one of the free PS Plus games on day one, right? Yep. That is right. And uh, I think it's uh, 20 bucks on, on PC. I'm not sure if um, if you can even get it without PS Plus, can you? You probably can. You, you, they, I think they made it free because Drive Club was delayed. Right. So, yeah. uh, ooh, a little trophy action. <laughs> there are trophies. He just went through the gate. I bet he's going to the bar. <laughs> yeah, Didi is, is you know very aware of kind of her, her father is, is a screw up. But um, but wants them back anyway. It won't open. But you could break it open. You're pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, this is, is kind of a weird ability. Like, Come on, it's this way. Like this this imaginary shadow friend is like destroying. Yes, yeah, <laughs> very gamey. <laughs> yeah, and you know it's 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 an air dash that that uh, that works that it works very well with the, the shadow uh, uh, platforming as well. It's it's okay. you know it's the same you know typical kind of platforming mechanic, but. Um, yeah, the, the the way you can do it, you can like air dash into a wall and and become uh, part of the shadow that way. Um, so it it can lend itself to some some of the very you know faster paced uh, puzzles, but but there there aren't, again there aren't very many of them. 
Uh, this game isn't trying to be super hard. It's not. It's not really the kind of platformer that you uh, well, you particularly like. It's not like the Mega Mega Man thing. Like you. Yeah. Like, yeah. like oh, me. Oh, you. Ew. Well, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is this is uh, her father getting himself into trouble with the mob. But, Those uh, hands. Damn it. I can't see them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I guess it, uh, this is actually the, the illusionist, not the mob. Yeah, that, that comes later. But, uh, all right. So, yeah, her, her father is trying to put together a, a circus. Uh, so, here's another another instance of mm. of adjusting the shadows. Okay, this is uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, this is neat. And so you, you would want to build, build build yourself a staircase kind of thing. Uh, the animation there is a little bit wonky. You know, yeah. it's not... Well, it's, yeah, her legs, she's like sliding around her. Right. Um, and I, I do find that there are, there are a fair amount of glitches that happen when you interact with objects like that. Um, oops, uh, it didn't happen there, but like sometimes you'll get stuck on them. Um, and you know, it's it's something you can work around. I, I never had, I only had one glitch that that really interfered with with things and made me have to like restart something. Um, and that was when I when I was playing with a box, you know, trying to get a box from point A to point B. Um, and oh, did I go the wrong way? <laughs> Not, pay, not really paying attention to what I'm doing. No, it's okay. It's hard to it's yeah. it's hard to uh, play and talk at the same time. Yeah, so I I, I lost that box down a hole, and it didn't respawn. Like it respawned like 15 times, and then I then I messed up one one time too many, and uh, yeah. Well, I guess I have to go up this way. All right. Um, and the box just didn't respawn, and I had to uh, had to start over. But uh, there we go. All right, let's try this. Yeah, it's it's a little bit finicky because like you'll get knocked out of the shadows. Uh, I've actually forgotten how to do this puzzle. It's 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 new to me again. That's one thing about puzzle games is that um, like if you have a, if you have a terrible memory memory, they're much more replayable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like with with Portal, you know, it's it's like you play that the yeah, first time and sure. then it's then on repeated uh, playthroughs, it's not not as good. It's like you don't have that eureka moment anymore. Um, all right, okay, the film reel and the jazz bar. I think I have to get, yeah, it's over there. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, I wish I remembered how to do this. <laughs> While Dan figures that out, yeah. viewers, remember, tweet your questions at IGN, hashtag PS4. We'll answer them live for you here. That also, also automatically enters you to win a copy of Assassin's Creed 4 on PS4, maybe even a PlayStation 4 console. Ooh. We have two of those to give away. That's, that's exciting. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Is, there must be a way. There is, yeah. There's got to be a better way. <laughs> there is. Uh, what is it? Have, do you guys have any solutions to pr propose for me? I've never played this game. No. Uh, uh, it's a, it's I mean, a, this seems like the most logical solution to me. Yeah, Are so we you, sure we're not missing something up here? Definitely go up here. Uh, like out the door? Is there yeah, like a way to wrap around or something? Or? Let's see. You can't go that way. Oh, uh, how about that? Colin, this is why they pay you All the big in. bucks. Yeah. What? Well, well. Uh, let's see. Uh, see. Oh, What's that thing? Yeah, so th those are just uh, collectible. Oh, is this? Uh, can you jump? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So this one. Yeah. All right. Yes. Ha ha. Good job, Colin. All right. Yes. What would we do without <sighs> you? I, I would not have. I would not have turned left. And they do have, uh, you know, some nice little collectibles around. Um, like this kind of. They stuff. don't make them very hard to find. They're like glowing. They are very, very sparkly. Um, and there, there's some nice, uh, some nice kind of backstory happening in these that you can piece together. Cool. Uh, I won't spoil any of it for you, um, but uh, there, there is kind of a, a wacky turn that this, that this uh, story takes at the end of it, um, which uh, you know I, I don't, I don't particularly love the direction they, they took it. For me, it kind of reduces the the uh, childlike wonder of it all. But ooh, sparkles! Um, <laughs> can't resist the sparkles. Gotta get those. But you know, it, it's it's still. Pretty cool. So how long is the game? Uh, if you just kind of. It, it took me probably between five and six hours. Oh, okay. Um, it's not. It's not a terribly long game. Uh, there are three acts. Uh, the, the the second act is probably the best. It's got uh, got some good stuff in a uh, in a broken down amusement park that her father is trying to fix up. And. Uh, and like that, that for me was was the highlight because it, particularly for uh, this one place where her father is narrating this this shadow puppet play and like the oh no the the lead 
uh, puppet is missing, so you have to fill the role of the lead puppet. And it's this princess who is who is uh, having to rescue her, you know, the the prince that her father is sending out to uh, to uh, you know slay dragons and stuff uh, to win her hand. Um, and uh, it's 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 a really cool little uh, little platformer. Uh, and I, I almost wish that that there was more, or I, I don't almost wish, I do wish there was more of it in this. Um, because it's it's a really interesting, oh, right, okay, this this is the one place in this game where it makes you go and collect those glowy orbs. I wonder if it's a, just like kind of a tutorial to show you that you could get them or whatever. Right. Although it makes it seem like it's compulsory, I guess, if you have to. Just just this once it, it is. Yeah. Um, and I think there, yeah, there's one up there, and there's one, oh, let's see, is this, yeah, they, they got some of these, like, little replay things here where you can, oh. This, so th this is replaying some of her, her mother's show, and you can use this to platform. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. To platform up and over and ah. Okay, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get it. There we go. Ah, nope. no, oh yeah, see there's, Close. It's, it's a little bit glitchy sometimes, the way, the way... Yeah, well, the way the movement, yeah, you're falling right through the platform. Yep. And shadows Isn't are... Isn't there an air oh, dash? Oh, oh wow. Got it. There, there is, but I don't think you can use it in the, while, while you are a shadow. Okay. You can use it, um, like, when you jump out of the shadows, and you can use it to get into the shadow. Oh. I really love the aesthetic of the game. Yeah, it, it is a gorgeous game, it, like, it never looks ordinary. Whether you're, whether you're in this, the, the shadow or the, the 3D. Uh, it's, there, go. there we go, yes. All right. Now we've got... Dan Kurt Mack has a question. Hi, Kurt. Can you die in contrast? You don't really die. You fall... I mean, you instantly respawn. Um, so, it, like, it's kind of encouraged to experiment. You're, uh, you're bouncing around. Um, and let's see. This, this level... Like, you get a little bit of the frame rate problems there. It's, it's more pronounced later on. Um, like particularly in the in the circus level, um, but yeah. So I'll, I'll, let me let me demonstrate here. We I don't know why there are these giant holes in the Paris streets. Oh my God! It's it. full of stars. Yes. Um, but yeah, you just instantly respawn. So you're encouraged to uh, you're encouraged to mess around and and uh, you know, have a good time with it without without getting frustrated. So yeah, th this one's a little bit weird because oh yeah, here's another one where you have to. Ah, oop, nope, there I died. <laughs> um, shift in and out. Yeah, you have to shift in and out in midair. Um, and there's, you know, there's some of it, but not, not as much as I kind of would have liked. There we go. But, uh, cool, I'm feeling this game. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely fun. You played it on PC? Uh, I played it on PS4 and on PC, yes. Okay. Uh, mostly on PS4. <clears throat> but, uh, but they're pretty much identical. The PC controls are not that great. I still recommend using a gamepad for this kind of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, the, I think the, the only real difference is that if you have a nice PC, you can crank it all the way up, and, and it'll look uh, it will look uh, you know better without any kind of stuttering. Colin Ja Tipon, no, probably Ja Tipon Spider has a really good question. Okay, how the headset. Oh, uh, the... How the headset? I don't know. I, I, so the one that comes with PS4 is, is uh, pretty basic, just earbud connects to your PS4, but I, I haven't used it in a game yet. You know, so, mm -hmm. um, like when I played Killzone Online, we weren't, uh, you know, we were in the same room with a bunch of people, and then, and then we weren't chatting with people we were playing with online, so. Um, so I can't say. I can't say. I'm sure it's pretty generic. I'm sure you could probably buy a better one. This is something... Don't know how the headset. No, no. How am I? <laughs> <laughs> Dan, Andrew asks, are there other puzzle mechanics aside from merging in the shadows? Um, I mean, there's, it's all, it's all based on the, on the puzzles, or on the shadows, rather. Um, but there are, you know, several different ways you do it. Um, in this, in this case, we've got, uh, like, you know, here we're, we're moving these thing, these, uh, cutouts to... That's moving Nosferatu, too. Yeah. So, ra rather than moving the, you can move the light or you can move the object. Uh, some of the, the some of the puzzles are, you know, handle that differently. Um... So it's all, it's all a bunch of different spins on the same idea, um, but it, it, you know it's 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 often done creatively. Um, it's not until you get into the oh here's a box move it over there that it gets a little bit disappointing. Um, so you're making yourself a staircase here. Yeah, there's a lot of staircase building, but you know it's 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 cool just because like 
you know, you, it's something that you look around in the real world and see these shadows uh, playing out on the wall, and, and like, you know, you can you can kind of imagine how the, how some you know little being could could do this. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a cool little fantasy, and through ah, through the eyes of a little girl, it makes a lot of sense in a way that makes no sense. Ah. But yeah, there's there's some adjustment stuff, but fiddly little adjustments. This is David Lee. The music for contrast seems great. Very haunting. Your thoughts, Mr. Stapleton? <laughs> I, I do like the music. I mean, it, it's it's uh, especially like the the burlesque stuff is all, is all very thematically appropriate and well done. Um, you know, it gives it gives a little bit more character to to her mother, who you know otherwise would be you know just kind of the the Typical damsel in distress. Well, she's not really in distress even, but uh, but the you know that era of uh, filmmaking. Um, she's not. She's she wouldn't have much dimension to her. Mm. Oh, this is a, this is kind of a cool thing. Like this is a window here. You can't pass through that, but you can boop and boop. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very uh, link between worlds. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that, that is a, a, a apt comparison because Link, uh, Link Between Worlds, the, the new Zelda game on 3DS, has what a similar mechanic where you can flatten you yourself out on a wall. Like, where's your mom? Um, Did mommy really kick you out? Were you <laughs> spying on us at the cabaret? Are you coming home? <laughs> I like the dad's voice actor. I feel like he recognized your voice. She here? No, I yeah. snuck out. He's got. He's another kid hey, for sure. Hey, come on, it's like, Silvio. He doesn't have Guy in Deus Ex Human Revolution, His name is that him? Salvio, oh. so why are we no, here? I Salvio, yeah, I don't think so. I got I'm great gonna, news. Look it up. Okay, Vincenzo yeah. is in. <laughs> yeah, here, here's where, you know, dad's in trouble with the mob. Um, they're, they're actually kicking his ass right now. So, <laughs> if we, like, I, I kind of took my time in, in solving this puzzle in order to, uh, to see if, <laughs> if things would go really badly because they're actively, like, beating the crap out of him right now. But they just keep beating him? Yeah, it's, it's not, like... There's no time limit on this puzzle. Um, or none, none that I can tell. Uh, yeah, I forgot how to do this one too. Oh, here we go. That's another another uh, path through. There we go. Pop out, pop out. See, I'm pushing the button and it's not popping. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Knock it off, Sal. Check this out. Geez, he is amazing. <laughs> I told you I got him. But uh, yeah, so that's the idea. I, I don't. I don't want to show all the cutscenes yeah, no, as far and just to just to uh, preserve some some of the uh, mystery for everybody. <laughs> it is doling those things out pretty fast and loose, isn't it? I appreciate it. All right, so here, yeah, here we can kind of see some of the <coughs> some of the jitteriness. Yeah, um, and that's you know it's only in certain places. Um, I had a bug here when I was capturing for my review, uh, where interacting with one of these things got me stuck, and I was kind of kind of uh, spinning around trying to trying to get out, and I had to had to use like the dash to escape it. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's yeah. cool. It is one where, where you, it's it's just for one of those orbs, and you have to time it to get launched up. Um, there's there's some some interesting timing stuff. The lighting effects, those are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not quite kill zone, right. but yeah, that's yeah, no, pretty. Yep. This game's got a, it got it got a cool aesthetic thing. Going. It does, absolutely does. And let's see. Oh yeah, I got to go back to the well, one thing that that kind of uh, kind of annoyed me a little bit was the, a lack of a map. So it's like go back to the Excelsior Hotel. It's like uh, where's that? Yeah. Um, and I have no sense of direction whatsoever. So it, you know, in games or out. Uh, so sometimes it, it took me a little <laughs> while to, to remember uh, where things were. What did you rate the game? I gave it a seven point five, which is good. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I I enjoy it. I think it has some really good ideas. I, I wish it used them more to a, to a greater extent, mm -hmm. um, and didn't fall back on on moving boxes around quite as much. Um, because you know, in, in my review, I'm like, well, you could at least put a heart on the side of the box, you know. She was good. It doesn't have to be just a box. I'm moving. Um, couldn't it be? Couldn't it have been like moving the little girl around? Just anything but a box. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, and you're moving that box onto a button to hold the door open. I can't get it's like, in. really. The door's locked. I need your 
Yeah, it's it's weird for to have that kind of mechanic in here with with such clever mechanics built into the game already. Yeah, it's like they, they have they have some like it's just inconsistent. They have some things that are just really really well done, and then others that are like, oh, I get I get to move a box. Mm. Um, there's there's this another one where yeah. where you're moving this this uh, this uh, elevator car with the light source in it, and it adjusts where all the shadows fall over here, and you can also move these uh, chandeliers. Then you know, create a create another ladder for yourself to go up. Um, so it's you know, it's all about moving, using moving pieces together. How how complicated does it get as the game goes on? Is it is it tough? Um, it's it's not tough. I never never really got stuck. I guess there was there was one part where I did I did get hung up a little bit just because I was I you know kind of face palmed and and uh, you know like how how did I not get that earlier? Um, but uh, I mean, it just just because it was introducing a new a new way Whoa. of <laughs> a new way of using uh, uh, lights to move things around boxes actually, um, and I got I got kind of frustrated with it, and then it's, and then once it once I figured it out, it's like oh, I'm just kind of dumb. <laughs> so it's not it's not di a difficult game, uh, and it's it's not trying to be like it want like it, it, more than anything it wants to tell the story. B asks, is Contrast a game that is remote play capable? Um, I don't know that, actually. I'm sure it probably is. Um, are there almost any? all games are remote yeah. play capable, yeah. as long as they don't use the camera. So, mm. I assume so, yes. Yeah, I mean, this, this game does not play differently on, on one platform to another. Um, so, I, I, I don't think it's... There, there's nothing that like actually makes use of a whole lot of PlayStation-exclusive features. Uh, I don't think that the touch, yeah the touchpad doesn't do anything. Right. Um, well, it's good that they didn't force it in there. Yeah. Right. I mean that that can be that can be awkward when they shoehorn it, um, and yeah, it's like uh, that doesn't actually make things more fun. Uh, I think it didn't like some of the the uh, early Vita games have a lot of problems with that. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, well, even Uncharted, which is yeah. a yeah. great game. That's actually what I was thinking that, of. Yeah, yeah, a lot of that uh, hold up the Vita to the light. Yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. It's like, all right, I don't want to do that. King Hippos has a really good question. Ooh. If you die in the shadow world, do you die in the real world? <laughs> uh, I, you, I don't know if you actually can die in the shadow world because you get you fall out of it, and then ha um, you know be, before you fall down into one of those bottomless pits. Seems like more of a philosophical question. Yes, I, I choose. I chose to take it literally, Colin. <laughs> okay. Mud Buddha notices. Wow, this is like a Studio Tokyo game. Yeah, it, it it is like a uh, assuming it means Studio Japan game, <coughs> but yeah, it is. Yeah, you can see like you know like Tokyo Jungle or something. Like it's just it's totally weird, and, but cool, you know, like yeah. and novel. I, I really do like the style of it. It's they they did a, a really great job of making this world. Oh, there was a little glitch, fell through the floor. Um, but uh, they did a really great job of it. I mean, even even this character Dawn, uh, like she's completely mute. Uh, she doesn't uh, she doesn't really have much of a personality. You get a, like a little bit of of uh, stuff from the ah, oh oh this is this is actually a really cool scene. I want to come home. You get a, a really uh, oh ah. <laughs> you get a little little do doses of it from the from the background stuff, but other than that, she's she's just there as your avatar. Um, but she's got a cool design. Oh yeah, I got kicked. <laughs> and, yeah, see that when you get killed in shadow, you get knocked out. Yeah. Uh, this is just a kind of a tricky a jump crowd. to time. They're the ones who broke your finger. There we go. It's, it's nothing, and then, like, it, it triggers them to do things when you when you do yeah, things. That's so. really cool. Yeah. Remember the horse doctor you were gonna fix races with? This is neat. Yeah, like this, this is one of the best in the in the whole game. One of the best ideas that they had. I, I wish they they had done more of this really. Um, because even though that jumping sequence was not complex, uh, it's one of the most memorable. I know, because I can read your mind like a highway sign. No, Johnny. Did you recognize his voice? Not again. Yeah, who is I looked up. Contrast is not in IMDb. Oh, okay. Give it time. Keep coming around his name's in the credits. Around. Look up. You just have to beat it to, to get that get satisfaction, Damon. I'll do that. I'll play this on Friday when I get my PS4. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Dan, it's absolutely worth playing. Thanks for showing us Contrast today. My pleasure. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to be playing Battlefield 4 and giving away a PlayStation 4. So stay tuned. Irma Gerd.